Good morning, Chairman Thompson, Ranking Member King, and other distinguished members of the committee. The U.S. Secret Service is an organization that maintains deep pride in the work it does on behalf of our nation. Based on the high standards to which the men and women of this agency hold themselves, in the, in the standards the nation expects, I regret on Tuesday, November 24th, established protocols and procedures were not followed, allowing two individuals entry into the White House. The moment this was brought to my attention on Wednesday, November 25th, I immediately directed our Office of Professional Responsibility to begin an investigation and a review into the events surrounding the previous evening. Further, I directed the Office of Professional Responsibility to contact the Department of Homeland Security Office of the Inspector General in order to advise them of our investigation. While the investigation remains ongoing, preliminary findings have determined that established procedures related to entering the White House were not followed at an initial checkpoint. In error in judgment, a mistake was made. In our line of work, we cannot afford even one mistake. In this particular circumstance, two individuals who should have been prohibited from passing through a checkpoint and entering the grounds were allowed to proceed to the magnetometers and other levels of screening before they were then allowed to enter the White House. Although these individuals went through magnetometers and other levels of screening, their entry into the White House is unacceptable and indefensible. The U.S. Secret Service relies heavily on the professionalism and training of our men and women to make informed decisions based upon sound judgment. In this case, I fully acknowledge that proper procedures were not followed and human error occurred in the execution of our duties. This flaw has not changed our agency standard which is to be right 100% of the time. This event does not represent the quality of protection that the dedicated men and women of this agency provides every day. This past year, we processed more than 1.2 million visitors into the White House without incident. In our profession, however, there is no margin for error. I realize many people share our disappointment in this incident. As an agency, we will continue to remain our harshest critic and take the necessary actions to remedy this issue and continually to successfully carry out our critical mission. I am extremely confident in and proud of the work of our men and women in the security measures we put in place on a daily basis at the White House, the Vice Presidential Residence, and the thousands of venues located throughout the world which are visited by those we protect. The men and women of the U.S. Secret Service work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year. Their sacrifice and commitment make us the agency that the American people can be proud of and depend on. As a career special agent, I am confident in our men and women and in our ability to successfully execute our mission. Chairman Thompson, Ranking Member King, and members of the committee, I am willing to answer questions at this time. However, any questions regarding our security procedures will need to be discussed in a closed setting. Additionally, I would like to respectfully advise this committee that due to the fact that this is an ongoing investigation, I am unable to answer any question regarding the potential criminal aspect of this incident here or in a closed setting. Thank you.